Chelsea was the first real test for the new head coach. There'd been no time to prepare for the Sunderland game, but a week later it was time to see what the Venables effect would be. With 11 players ruled out by injury or suspension, Tell's first team selection was not a difficult one. With Alan Boxic still injured, Brian Dean and Noel Whelan once again led the attack. Forward by Vickers, that's a great ball. Oh! Keith O'Neill with the first glimpse of Chelsea's goal. Here's Fester. Musto. Brian Dean takes up a good position. Good ball in, it's loose. Terry Venables getting back into the role, hands-on football management. Well, Middlesbrough will make a substitution. It will be Paul Oaken, who will be replaced by number three, Dean Gordon. Vickers to Fester. Here's Ince. Musto. Oh, Borough having to work it backwards to come forwards again. Whelan. Into the, the path of Dean Gordon. It's deflected. Oh, yes! The substitute just on. Dean Gordon with a deflected left foot shot. A large slice of luck. But Borough don't mind about that. Teed up by Noel Whelan. And it hit Melchiot. An inspired substitution by Terry Venables. And now there's new instructions. Let's keep what we have. Dean, goal side of Leboeuf. Oh, brought down by the Frenchman. It'll be a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area. O'Neill will take it. Ooh, when he got it through a, a crowd of players, but straight into the midriff of Ed Dohoy. Oh, Terry Venables knows all about the, the nervous excitement of football, and it's a winning start, and you can't ask more than that, particularly with the depleted squad that Venables had to choose from for this game. Dean Gordon with the only goal, courtesy of a deflection, but it's three valuable points. And the supporters at the Riverside this afternoon believe it's the start of a revival. Well, Terry, did you enjoy that? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did at the final whistle. Yeah, the rest of it was a bit hard. You sound a bit throaty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm not used to it. It's gone. It's going to do the singing up as well. I don't think anybody could doubt your commitment to the cause, having seen the way you were in the, particularly the second half, when you spent most of it down on the touchline. Yeah, well, it was getting a bit frantic and... Um, you know, we, we, we did particularly well, I thought, uh, during the game with things that may be slightly different. And um, the trouble is when you get a bit under pressure, it starts to, you revert to a uh, type sort of thing, you know, and uh, we, we just have to keep reminding what we've got to do. And I thought we, we fought very hard. We played some good passing at times and uh, it's great to get a win. That's the main thing. He's second to none in coaching and um, he just probably put out a few points on the pitch um, that we worked on all this week and um, just made us all feel confident about ourselves made us, and my main point was to say don't play, play with play no fear, don't worry, you know what I mean, if you lose the ball, lose the ball, play with no fear and I think the last two weeks we've done that. He's just concentrated on the on the basics, you know, just not conceding goal first thing and um, really um, creating opportunities going forward because in the last few games we've been a bit limited going forward and um, creating chances so um, He's just been concentrating on that and it um, looks like things have, um, are starting to 